So my name is Amal Osman and I am a housing specialist with Scott County. I work with the Section 8 program mainly. My favorite part is to help the people that are needing for assistance, to be able to have them live in the community in an affordable housing. Uh, I go to Burnsville High School, but I do PSEO, and then I go to the U full time for classes. And I'm planning on doing computer science. Kind of took a couple computer science classes and I liked them, so. Yeah, so my mom, she works a lot, and then when she comes home, she kind of makes sure everybody's doing good. She's like the spine to the family, like the backbone. My father, he goes out and makes sure like we have stuff we need. Like, they'll tell me I can't work over the school year so I can focus on everything. I do remember like the whole moving process was kind of hectic and I was really nervous and stressed out, but like I remember the first day I came here, it's, it was very nice and spacious and like within a week or two I quickly got used to it. Scott County CDA really helps, like doesn't matter who you are, you know, we're like a family of like seven kids and two parents and they still found a way to help us out you know, give us a home. They've been in the program for several years. Um, I kind of got to know them a bit better. Uh, last year, uh, one of their sons, Osman, applied for scholarships and was awarded a couple. So I've gotten to know them through the scholarship program that we offer. It's how you want to raise your family. It's the kind of people that you want to be. So certainly they're raising all of their children very well and uh, I just felt very, very warm being with them. Working with a larger family, they will need a larger home and having a four bedroom, five bedroom and the stuff, like in our market at this time is really tough and finding the stuff. So it's just maneuvering those systems and working with landlords and able to assist them with the programs and managing their, um, that part of their life for them. It's really rewarding. Um, so originally I'm from Somalia. I was born and raised in Saudi Arabia and then moved to Mankato, Minnesota, where I call home. Mankato is where I have all my memories, where I didn't have to relocate again. Minnesota from the get-go was the first state that accepted the resettlement of Somalis. It's how the community of Minnesota welcomed everybody here. Our religious holiday, Eid, uh, we usually wake up early, go, go to prayer, and then come back and spend time with like our aunts and stuff. It's a welcoming community. It's a loving community. We cherish the food and the culture. Um, no matter if you were born in the United States or you were born in Somalia, you still have the same values and the culture. They're hard workers. They try for better. They invest so much in education. It, it, there's a lot of rich tradition so that it gets passed down from generation to generation. The generation has shifted where it used to be boys and men are the one who leads, they're the one who gets an education and back home to where you have more females out working, more females getting educated. When, you, when I look at myself in a mirror, I'm not a typical Somali woman. I am outspoken, I say what I think, and I fight hard for what I believe. But at the same time, like my scarf, my scent, my food will show that I'm from that background. If you rent from a regular stream person, you just look at their income and wait for that check from them. But with people that have the programs that we have in Scott County or housing programs, you have the housing specialists, you have a team of work workers that is working together to make sure that they're stable. It's just more of like who you know, how can you get help, how can you move on, how can you stabilize yourself, um, and who can help you with that? And Scott County CDA really helped with that. Uh, we work as a team. We will be your partner. We will be available at every any time if there's a problem. It's a pretty safe community, and like our neighbors are really welcoming. They wave whenever we walk past them. Um, a home is the most important thing in the person's life. That's how they thrive and become uh, successful in the community they live in.